Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nissa and today we're gonna take a look at the Yucatan Spider Monkey. Yeah, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. It is a mod made by Leaf and uh, Mega Gaming Rex. I'm sorry, I just... I've been doing a lot of these videos today, so uh, yeah. Uh, that's what we have to work to it. Um, but it's two very good mothers, and I'm looking forward to taking a look at this beautiful monkey. It is called a spider monkey, and it's because, as you can see in the picture here below, it has these abnormal long legs and uh, arms and, and tail. And it has kind of the spidery feel of these very thin long limbs. Um, it. I, I would like to say though, many monkeys have long legs and tail, but they are very much longer on this one, as you can see in the picture. They have the slider on the belly and the cheeks and the mouth area and then this very dark top of the head and a darker back and the outside of the legs and the top of the tail. Let's get into the game here and they are very cute honestly uh, we don't really have anything to uh, compare them to to the game to be honest so let's just jump into Zoopedia they are probably made on the uh, white face Capu Colombian capuchin monkey <laughs> rig um, but it's still for a long way from a capuchin uh, so i'm not gonna compare them too much um they are endangered and the population in the wild are unknown they are from south and north america uh, more specifically mexico guatemala and belize and they live in tropical and temperate biomes one of them need 210 square meters of land and 20 of climbable area and they live from 12 to 42 degrees Celsius. You need a grade one climb proof fence, four feet of 13, that's around a meter and 35. Uh, or water that is wider than 10 feet, that's three meters, and deeper than 3.3 feet, which is one meter. Here it seems like it's the same as the capuchin here. So you have group sizes from 8 to 40. That's 13 males or up to 39 females. And bachelor groups uh, the same numbers. A dominant male in charge of troop and they are promiscuous. They are confident around humans and guests can enter the habitat. They grow to around uh, 18 inch long which is just around 50 centimeter half a meter uh, i will say though it doesn't specify if it's with the tail or without the tail uh, and that matches very much here i do however think it's with the tail because half a meter is yeah i'm not sure honestly if it's with or without because the tail is pretty long uh, they live for around 51 years and the males weigh around 7.7 .7 pounds that 15.4 kilo sorry wrong way it's 3. Point something something um three and a half kilo just say that and the females around 5.06 pounds that's around two and a half kilo uh, they reach sexual maturity at age seven and they reach sexual did sterilization at age 30 uh yeah 30 they only give a single baby every other year and they are pregnant for six months they should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity they have interspecies enrichment with the uh, South American jungle animals, which is the tapir I can't pronounce, the Colombian white-faced capuchin, and the giant and eater. For enrichment, it's the same as the uh, Colombian white-faced capuchin. So go down here, write Colombian or just capuchin, that's enough. Then you will get the right stuff. 
But we have the rubber doggy. We have all three balls of the small balls. I would like to see him play with the big ones, but the small balls, the mirror thing, sprinkler, piano, cardboard boxes, and ice block. Then we have here the um, suspended forester, the small fixed roller feeder, the spike tree, frozen food, fruit, sorry, and the forester. If we take a closer look, they are very clearly having a different tail. Most of the other ones, I don't think I have any for the game out here, but we have. Yeah, here you can see the golden headed lion tamarind tail down. Here we have. Oh, this is the Colombian white face capuchin from the game, but it's sitting. Um. Tough capuchin, golden. Uh, okay, one of them have the tail up, but as you can see, most of the monkeys have the tail lower down, and here it seems like it's the standard to have it lifted up. It also appeared to be very long and slender, as we saw in the picture. I don't feel like their arms are as long as they should be, though. Um, just gonna like this fast. You can see here how long and slender they are. Um, so there is a bit around there. Sorry, I just thought I saw one swim, but they don't swim. Uh, unless there's something I just haven't seen yet. But let's see here. The face is very much as it should be. I feel the eyes are very dark. They have the pupil, which are black, and then a brown. Um, this is irises, uh, the colored part of the eye. Um, that is brown, but it's very dark. So if you play the game from out here, it looks like the black pupil are very, very big. Um, I would like it to be a little bit lighter, so it doesn't seem like that, but you still have the lighter part here. You have a little bit of glitching, keep in mind that might be my computer, so it might not happen on yours. Uh, we have a little bit of issue with the long hair here on the cheeks, which as here it looks fine, it doesn't look that dim dimensional. But it looks fine but when we do like this as you can see here it starts to look weird with the blurriness and that's the fluffiness issue where the game just doesn't read that right you can see here the shoulder here are very blurry as we move over here it comes more in focus up here very blurry and i assume yeah you can see when we go there then it's very much better uh, and that's the issue from the game, so I won't re really fault the mothers at all. Um, so basically, the only thing I would put my finger on is that the arms aren't slender and long enough. You have a baby over here jumping, and it's just much darker, as you can see. Also darker on the chest. I actually did. Yeah, it didn't have. It did have the lighter parts in here. I just didn't notice. Um, but it's very cute. It has this kind of over-dimensional mouth area. A little bit too big eyes. Uh, which give it a tiny smidge of cartoonish nature. Which I really like, honestly. Uh, I would like the ears to be a tiny bit bigger also. But again, some of these cartoonish features that's personal some people love it some people hate it and there's no right and wrong here again the mothers do what they like to use in their game they first of all mud for themselves what they want to mud and then they just offer up everyone else to come along for the ride which we can only appreciate here uh, but overall the baby is very well done uh, all of the animations if is of course the capuchin animation uh, and they work as the capuchin. The only thing is the climbing is a little bit funky but it is that in the game. Um, so again <laughs> it's 
the mothers couldn't really do much to change that. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. I'll then it comes below or in the next video. Bye, guys.